Hi. In this video, we are going to walk through with the heavy vehicle inspection Android app. I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet. It's a 10 inch tablet with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. When we first click on the app, we see the home screen with six icons. It has a new inspection, dashboard, vehicle inventory, checklist, scheduler, and task reminder. Now, before we perform an inspection, uh, we would input the vehicle inventory and checklist manager. Now, let's first go and uh, see how we will input variety of vehicles in the inventory. So at the bottom right side, we have the plus sign. I'm going to touch this and it will open a new vehicle entry panel. Now there it's a free tax. So we can write if that vehicle is not in the list or there is a pre-populated list. So on the top right side, there's a plus sign. On click of this, it's going to populate a list. Now there, it, these are based on the different industries. We can check the transport vehicles. So it has tractors, van trucks, cab, prime movers. And there is further list in this. So truck tractors like heavy haul, truck tractor T and A. And the likewise, we have variety of trailers. We have the agriculture equipment in that. The construction equipment, the dozers, compactors. So I select a plate compactor. Now this is the meter reading of equipment. It could be in miles, kilometers or hours. So for this meter reading, a compactor has a reading of 7,966. And there we could write the equipment or vehicle number. So that would be a unique identifier. It could be number plate or a serial number of the equipment. And more detail about the vehicle model and the year of manufacture. And if we have an assigned operator, so all that information we save and at the bottom we have a new vehicle entry added plate compactor. Now I'm going to do one more entry where I do not want to go through with the list, write my own vehicle. So I'm going to write a motor bike or oh, I'll input the meter reading based on the kilometers. I have the number plate. Enter here the model and the year. So that is a standard way to maintain the vehicle inventory. We can maintain variety of vehicles, but we need to keep in mind to maintain the likewise checklist, the inspection conditions. So by default application provide 62 or 61 different inspection conditions. Or these are based on the standard equipments and heavy vehicles on the roads. But you know, these all are editable. So we could delete it or change it. So it's going to change the condition. We can add a new condition. And we have a new condition added. Now these all lists are alphabetically sort. So we're going to see that oil change on the number 43. So based on the type of equipment or 
the equipment manual provided by the manufacturer we can input all those inspection points in this checklist and those would be utilized when we perform the inspection now we're going to talk about the scheduler and task reminder later so let's go ahead and do our inspection so we're going to click on the new inspection tab uh, the report number location these are pre-filled information and the inspector name based on the user setting so this information is all automatically populated at the time of inspection and the vehicle we can input a new vehicle here or the preferred mode is to pick from the list which is on the right side we touch the list it's going to give us the list of all the vehicles and we're going to add a vehicle it will put all the details we go to the next step and there are all the inspection points we can select on any inspection point on touch of that it will open a camera screen with four different conditions we can use the camera screen to take a picture of the vehicle and mark the condition for testing I'm just going to use a basic picture Now once we take the picture on press of OK, it's going to ask us, do you want to add an image? If we say yes, we'll have opportunity to mark it. So by swipe of my finger, I can pinpoint any area to focus it. And that will process the image editing and include that picture. And I can mark, say good. Or repair or replace all three are different colors I'll say it's good and then we can input the notes need some cleaning so I'm gonna say repair and then we mark it and you would see the color it will have a change color on the top uh, that would reflect the condition of vehicle if I go and mark the audio system as good, it will turn it to the green. On the number three inspection point, backup lights and alarm, I say replace it and it will convert it into the red color. So that's how we can select any of those inspection points. We don't have to select all of them. Based on that kind of equipment, we can select what inspection we want to perform. And we can go in those particular area and mark them. And at the end of the inspection, I will go to proceed. And then this drop down, we would mark that how is the overall vehicle condition or the equipment performing. We can say a little wear and a good condition. And now this is a compliance condition as a vehicle inspector. Uh, you would mark it that it is safe to use or if that is possible otherwise we'll say NA and we can write the overall remark notes and then the inspector signature and now we are ready to generate our inspection report so I'm gonna touch the generate button and now it's processing the report so this is our new inspection report which we just did the inspection we did it on a skip loader uh, we did the four inspection points with the conditions good repair and replace and we attached one picture to that and we have the overall inspector signature so this is how a normal inspection would work for any equipment or vehicle now for sample, I would go in the dashboard and see a prior inspection report just to see how it looks for a heavy vehicle. Now in this picture is related to an excavator 
where we did a variety of inspections on the excavator. We did eight different inspection points with the nodes and below are the images for each one of them with the clear marking and then we have the overall remarks in a highlight. So that is it. I hope oh, it will become a simple step for you as well to perform the inspection. Please feel free to provide your comments uh, in the YouTube comments area or let me know if you have any other issues I can come up with another videos thank you so much for watching